When you really look at where the sport of triathlon has gone and even endurance and sports in general, there's a big scientific component to it. And if you're not really dialed in on where all the numbers are and where your athletes are from a physiological standpoint, um, then you're not gonna be really able to compete with the best in the world. When we're looking at all the data and we're looking at where an athlete's VO2 max is and then in relation to where their anaerobic capacity is, then it lets me really understand what I need to focus on. So that, that's why like us checking in on VO2 max multiple times throughout the year is really important because I take that information, then I build a training plan off of it, and then I test again to make sure that what we actually did in training worked. Checking in on those numbers helps take a lot of the other things that can happen in racing that are outside of your control, like flat tires or just the strategic dynamic of a draft legal triathlon out of the equation, and it just puts the hard data into it. So we can see, is an athlete performing to their ability or is there mental things that are maybe holding them back or there are different skill sets that they need to really be able to perform to their potential. At this point, where triathlon is and where endurance sports in general are, if you're not doing physiological testing, then you're, you're behind where the rest of the world is. And if you're not checking in and doing testing, then you're just guessing. And nowadays, because of the technology that we have, you don't have to guess. That's the great thing about it.